Greetings everybody, you calling your games online. Welcome back to more Dust, the Elysian Tale. Last time, we finally found out who we were. And this episode, you might notice I'm back in Mudpot. Well, we fulfilled Bopo's request. Dust, you did it! You brought snow! I know how much it means to you, Bopo. Well, I don't have much to offer. Besides from this funny rock, it don't seem to do anything down here in Mudpot, but it looks pretty neat. Here, it's all yours. Thanks, Bopo. We've got the achievement one final wish as well. We had our moment together, me and Pa. Taking a walk through the snow, building a fort, watching all those flakes fall from the sky. I know none of it were real, but I'll always have this memory now, thanks to you. I've just got to be strong now, for Mama. Thanks so much, Dust, for everything. For you the quest, Snowflakes. And... Let's see here. Yep, we have the Rainbow Resonance Gem now. So, we might put that to use soon enough. However, there's actually a secret. We go in here, and there is in fact a treasure key here. And that is everything on this screen. We do have other quests. We have Pearly Whites, which I do have the Rockhound teeth in uh, in stock. I just gotta wait to be able to get enough of those. Over the Fence will we'll complete at some point, and same for Reunion. So, with all of that done, I think now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going all around the world try to find any treasures that we have not yet gotten. And uh, it's going to be a doozy. And we're going to be introduced to something new, believe it or not. Yes, this late in. Okay, well it's not really new because we found out about this before, we just haven't tried it yet. First off, there's something here. <laughs> But, I don't know where that bomb flower is. Um... You know what? Probably gotta go to a previous screen to find that bomb flower. Probably gotta get the one that's here. And carry it over here. And, okay. Worry for a second that I leave it behind. Oh god! And yeah, that's the other thing. We gotta make sure that no enemies hit it. That could be a bit troublesome. Right. Oh, come on. Really? Put a time limit on it. Why don't you? Alright, we got it. Sorry about that. I got interrupted. We do have wall chicken. Ever famous wall chicken. But, uh,. What exactly does that do for us, then? Uh... Hmm. Maybe there's something down here? Possibly? Nope. Okay, then. Well... Guess we're gonna be looking all around the map for what we still have not gotten yet. Because that's really the only other thing we can really do, is uh, find anything else we have not gotten yet. So we're going to be starting at the Glade. Let's get down to business. <laughs> Alright, starting off with the Glade. Through the left entrance, or the west entrance. I'm going to go up here to the Bomb Flower. Take it all the way down here. Pull that up, get your wall chicken, slide the wrong way apparently. Go up here, there's a treasure chest. Screw it up, because why not? There, that's more like it. We get some outdated stuff, but you might still want it. Alright, this one's more so for achievement. You slide to an enemy and kill him like that, you get an achievement. Sad way to go. 
Alright. This is more so us moving into new territory, so here is where we found Meat Boy, the very start of our adventure. But now we can go over here, because we can slide. We can head down here. We appear to have treasure. Located somewhere. Amongst all these deadly spikes. So, you know, can't have enough spikes in the game. Enough completely... Spikes that do that, no less. Now what we need to do is we need at least one of these bomb flowers, and we gotta be careful not to have them be lured into the spikes. But we want to do that. Get ourselves some more wall chicken. Is there anything up here? Okay, well, I guess that answers my question. Get two treasure keys. That's all there is here. Speaking of new powers, we now have the ability to climb on these vine areas and completely miss our jumps at that. So, let's use this power, and this appears to be a... Yep, it's a destroyable wall, if you don't know. Oh. Well, that's just in case we don't have the thing yet. But I still want my wall chicken, dang it. And the wall chicken is, well, stuck in the wall. Figures. So let's just destroy the, these walls and hopefully get wall chicken. But otherwise, we've seen these areas before. But we haven't actually tried one of them. These trial areas. And let's actually look at what one of these are. We go through here. You have to break all of these jars, or at least try to get yourself a time bonus, while avoiding taking hits. Because you will lose points if you take a hit. But you also get a time bonus if you finish quickly. But at the rate I'm playing... Wait. Go. Yeah, we're running out of time for this one. Looks like it, yep. Well, you get the idea, and I will cut to... Well, I guess I can at least finish this. Cross the finish line. You are ranked on three things. Your score for getting the, uh... Well, you're mainly ranked on the pots that you break, but other than that, you will get points based on how many hits you take. So the less hits you take, the more points you will get. Because each hit will reduce your score by 100. And if you have some time left on the clock, you will get a time bonus. However... Oh, you also do get some equipment. So I got a spectral vest to validate it. And you can even view this also serves as a leaderboard essentially. However, I have to go get the four star ranking because that is the maximum stars you can get for each of these trials. So I will be right back. That's more like it. And you get achievement for that. An impressive display for getting four stars on one of these areas. And considering this was tile, what was it, Surly and Trial 3 or something like that? Whatever, the number three indicates that there's more of these. But other than that, that is 100% in the Glade. So let's move on to the next area, whichever one it is I decide on. Alright, the next area I decided to go to is Aurora Village. Starting off with Serial and Trial 2, and I'm already off. It's one pot. Oh Jesus, I think I know where another one is actually. I think there's one up here. Nope, it's a treasure key. The hell? 
Alright. Oh, come on. Yeah, enemies will also give you points if you kill them. So it's a lot more complicated than you might think. Oh, and you have to also kill all the enemies to move on, apparently. Yeah, that rule is still in effect. Alright. I don't think we're getting the... four stars, but we can still try. Dropping down. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a horrible idea. So how do you feel about flame jets? Oh, I missed the pot. I missed the pot. God dang it. Well, it's okay, because this probably won't... Oh, no, never mind. I didn't miss the pot. Game's just being a jerk like that. Surprise, surprise. Come here. I just want to kill you. Not so much to ask. Apparently it is. Alright, let's see how I did. That is not going to be a, uh, four stars. At the very least, we got three stars. But I don't think... nope. Well, it's going to take me a bit of time before... Also, you get a wetsuit. It's going to take me a bit of time before I actually get the four stars, so I will be right back. Much better. Alright, we've now got the four stars here. Let's move on. Alright, now we have the red resonance gem. We can get through here. And let's see where this takes us. Back up here. So, if you need to get back up here. Well, you have that, which is actually useful, because next treasure has to be in this area somewhere. Just don't really remember where. Well, this is where editing magic comes into play. Ah, here we go. And hey, look, it's another one of those friends. It's been a while since I've seen one of these. Who is it this time? I like the one I don't recognize. And we, well, in any case, we get a plus 5% health bonus, and our maximum health is 4,047. That's two of the friends done. But is that everything here? Of course not. There's some bomb flowers here. And. Got one of those walls again. Give me my little chicken. So let's see uh, what there is in this area. Nothing here, so I guess we gotta go down this way. There's one, two treasure keys. And that should be, yep, that's everything in Aurora Village. Let's head back to the world map and see what else there is. Alright, 
Next area I decided to go to is Ivydale Glen. Glen, excuse me. And right about here, we have the point of no return, which is no longer a point of no return. We have an area we can slide into. We get two treasure, treasure keys. And I think that is, yep, that is everything in Ivydale Glen, just like that. Let's move on to the next area. Hopefully it'll be as quickly as that one. Next area I decided to go to is the Hidden Cove. And we have vines that we can climb on now, which leads to something that we need to blow up of a bomb flower. No worries, because we have a bomb flower right there. Assuming it doesn't fly into some spikes, which it probably will. Make sure that doesn't happen. And naturally, we got a new pathway. Matter of hand, though, is where does it lead? Uh, okay, that's not what I meant to happen. I'm just getting really confused as to where I'm going. Oh, nope, we're back here. Alright. Go through here. Really? We're gonna go through this now? <sighs> Apparently we are gonna go through this. There we go. Third time's the charm. You can climb up here. Slide through here. It's one of those puzzles, but we'll deal with that in a bit. We've got two treasure keys. Surprise, and that's everything on this screen, so. Uh, we gotta do this correctly. That's not how we do this. That's how. Yeah, sliding puzzles, you never thought you'd see them. But now we can go up here. There does appear to be some treasure here as well. Are you Sarahi? Don't worry, I'm a friend. Please, just stay back! Sarahi! Mosca? Mosca, is that you? Yes, Sarahi, it's me! Oh, Mosca! Denim was destroyed, everyone was killed, I... I was so scared! You don't have to worry anymore, Sarahi. My friend Dust here, he stopped that menace in Denim. Those monsters destroyed my home, Mosca. I... I don't know what to do. We'll go back to Aurora, okay? You and me. We'll figure something out. Will you two be alright? I think so, Dust. Thank you. For everything. A single survivor in the whole village. One is better than none. Come on, let's get out of here. Complete the quest reunion. There's also a teleport stone here for you. And with that done, I do believe that means, yep, we have 100% in the hidden code. And we have another quest under our belt. And we have two left, at least in this list. There might be more we need to do. We have pearly whites, which. We can probably actually take out now if we want to, but we'll, we'll hold off on it for a bit. And over the fence. Both of them are in mud pot, so we'll see about working on those next time we're in mud pot. But, by the looks of it, that's it. So let's head off to the world map again, see what else there is. Alright, the next area we want to go to is Archer's Pass, because, oh boy, do we got a lot of stuff to do here. But... For the time being, we want a bomb flower. Because, if we go beyond this gate with the blue resonance gem, there's your shortcut here. Don't take the shortcut. Instead, take the bomb flower past it. And now we have the double jump. There's a treasure key waiting for us. Alright, next up, now we have the slide ability. We can go this way. And spiders. How many spiders like me today? And we have yet another trial area. This time at the oh, I remember this one. This one sucks. This one is basically luck based, or you pretty much need a map of the entire area because it's a maze. Yeah, I hope you hop through the right path. Otherwise, you might be going in a circle. 
and oh boy, I might even need to bring up a map for this one. It's yeah, I made it to the end. However, I didn't break all the jars. So, I only got two stars, yeah. We have flash sheath. Alright, I'm gonna go bring up a map, and I'll see you when I do this correctly. There's also a treasure chest in this area. I just showed the entire run as of now to show you where this treasure chest is. You get a massive augment. That is not better than my augment, not by any stretch of the imagination. Well, that took some trial and error, but I finally got it. And now we are out of here. We want more treasure in Archer's Pass. Okay, I guess that works. Doing that, you go to a secret room. Get some treasure. And there's another one up here. Whoa, that one has monsters in it. Funny game. Very funny. There's also a revival stone, so I'll, you know, I'm not complaining. And then let's just get out of here. Ah, I was confused here for a bit. Walk through the wall here. They really like hiding a lot of things. There's a strength salve, which, again, 
Definitely not better than what we've got already. Here we are in an area we couldn't do anything about before. We need blue resonance gem. The red resonance gem. The green resonance gem. We need to jump. There's a key here. We need the yellow. We don't have the yellow resonance gem. But there's at least a key there, so let's come back to this. Believe it or not, there's still some things we cannot quite get yet. I know, how silly. But, let's at least go get the last thing, which is on this screen somewhere. Let's go find it. Double jump up here. Slide. There has to be something around here. Is there? That seems kind of pointless, or is there something I'm missing? You know what, there's probably something I'm missing. Yep, we can see those keys off there in the corner. Which means... We gotta do this. Yep. Three treasure keys, and that's everything in Archer's Pass, at least that we can get now. We still need to find wherever that yellow resonance gem is. Once we have that, though, we're coming back here get whatever is left here. Otherwise, that is 87%, which is as close to 100% as we're getting, for now. We're about done with this episode, so let's close it off with finishing a quest. Pearly Whites. Here's 10 Rockhound teeth, Blop. I'm sure your new teeth will be the talk of the town. I think I'm all set. Thank you, son. Ain't no one gonna tell Blobby can't eat corn no more. Get that quest done. But we still have Over the Fence, which again we'll be handling later. But I think that's gonna about do it for this episode. So, next time on Dust and the Lysian Tale, we will hopefully finish up with the side quests and we'll be ready to head off to Everdawn Basin, hopefully. See you guys then. But before we go, let's look at the progress we've made. We've got 100% of the Glade, 100% in Gihan's farm, which we already had before. We had 100% of the Sanctuary before already. We've got 100% of the Royal Village. We're mostly done with Archer's Pass. We're done with the Ivydale Glen and Hidden Cove. All that's left is the last bit of Archer's Pass, Obidus Forest, Saruman Caverns, the Sorrowing Meadow, and Blackmore Mountains. Then once we get all that done, Everdon Basin. Now I'll see you guys then. The sweet mouse movement.